Commission started it a year ago with one coach and 30 people. Today we're close to 2,000. Our movement is growing. And the, the thing that happened, the reason why we came here for that first demonstration was because women had gathered together in a room to defend a torture victim from being deported. And they had resisted with everything they had till the guards came in and they beat them. But that woman was not deported. That woman was not deported and those women were freed. And so we know that when you fight, when you come together and you organize inside there, you can win. And we will do everything that we can outside here to support you in your resistance and your struggle and your continued fight against Yarl's word, against detention and for freedom, the freedom that you deserve. We're gonna try and right here from the people inside Yarl's word. There's a phone number for you to call if you want to speak to the demonstration. It's going up to the fence now. Can you say which window you're at? Uh, where's the window with the um, underwear? <laughs> in the centre. being inside there. Sorry. You're right. Girls, be strong. Everybody here is here to fight with you. To, we've come here as a unit to fight with you and do not give up, please. Do not give up. Keep up the fight. Keep up the fight. We got another person also from one of the other rooms. We're just going to try and find out which room, if we can see them. So this is one of the people that was locked out of this unit because Sarko are trying to reduce the impact of the demonstration by preventing half of the people from being able to come to these windows. So this is someone in the other unit. I'm on the side where I can see outside. Okay, can you describe what happened, how they locked you up this today? They locked me in between, in the passage. I couldn't go to any place. So I was locked there for 10 minutes okay. until I demanded to come back. So they asked me to come back to my room. And uh, the other side is locked. No one can go there anymore. They don't want anyone to go on the other side where we can see through the window. I'm so grateful that everyone has come here to support us. 
we really need people like you in our lives to help us because we didn't come to this country to cause any problem. We are not abiding citizens. We are not criminals. Because in this country, even criminals are respected. Criminals are able to move around, but we are not able to move around. People are getting deported every day. And and it's not humanity. A, a country like Britain, where they proclaim democracy, they are supposed to treat us with dignity, honestly. I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the supporters out there. Let's all come together and keep on fighting for justice and for human rights. Thank you so much. from Mabel. Mabel has been locked up for two years away from her seven-year-old daughter. Mabel has been a fearless fighter and a fearless organizer in Yarswood. I am now two years and seven months detained. Mm. I had a seven-year-old daughter who longed to be with her mother. Mm. And I had to be here. It's very hard, but I get stronger and stronger day by day. I had overcome the home affairs. I overcome them. I don't fear them anymore. I will fight until I die. Mm -hmm. I will never surrender. Mm -hmm. We'll stand together and we'll fight the movement of justice with your support. Thank you, guys. Conditions. There is no making it nicer. The truth is, 